All right, more summoning tickets. Two more orbs. 100 hero feathers. But what really matters, the calendar. You know, kind of people, we kind of expected the calendar to be out. Hey, another two hero banner. It looks like I was right about two hero banners, guys. When, I, when we first talked about two hero banners, a lot of you guys were like, hey, Nims, it's just a one time occasion. I guess it's not, huh? The highest summoning rates ever are in the two hero banners. Of course, these are two, you know, three, four star heroes. Don't actually summon for this. Just take your free summon and get out of there. Uh, White Wing Sisters are on a separate banner. That's nice. That's a good way to do this. Of course, it would have been even cooler if they just put in Robin, female Robin, uh, as a GHP hero and just put her in, and that would have just really changed things up. But that would have been that would have been interesting. But of course, you know, for obvious reasons, GHP hero they wouldn't do that. The White Wing Sister banner looks really nice though, having the three of the girls together like that. Oh boy. Of course, guys, I don't think you should summon on this. But if you want some advice on the White Wing Sisters, I think all three of them you should eventually make. Just look for the Red IVs. Uh, red IVs um, are plus attack on Est. Don't worry about speed. She's kind of slow, but don't drop her speed because she can prevent herself from getting doubled. Um, plus speed on Cadria because she can quad. And for Pallets, either plus attack or plus speed, whichever you want. want. But make all three of them. I think Pallets is the easy one, easiest one to make. Uh, plus speed pal of Darting Blow, and you keep Wings of Mercy, you keep um, Gold Flyers, you keep Moonbow, and yeah, you get the special weapon. And Kateria, Kateria kind of harder. I think Fury will work really well on her, but you know, all three of these can use Death Blow really well. S definitely has to use Death Blow. Death Blow with a B skill of your choice, maybe a chilling skill for a B. Um, but yeah, Kateria is the one where it really opens up, because she could be a really good. For good attacker or like use speed because her plus speed is like 37 speed i think which is really good for a for a flying hero anyways uh all three white wing sisters i think everyone should build uh oguma or Oguma, as people call him in the west he's also really good now so is robin all the refines this time around was were really 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 good uh, i should have a video on that up so check it out Anyways, new event calendar is here. I'm going to do this alone so it's faster this way. Alright, Summoning Focus New Power Part 1 and Summoning Focus New Power Part 2. That is today. They are out. Uh, you guys already saw my feelings on that. Great upgrades. Uh, check out the video for specific details though. Uh, Illusion Dungeons returning on the 13th. Kingdom of Hoshido. I'm not sure how many people actually try on those, but it's fun for those who like tap battles. At the very least, it's nice hearing the music. Uh, Tempest Trials returns on the 15th already, huh? Who's the hero, though? Who's the free hero? I don't think the recent damn mine carried that. If it did, uh, I must have missed out. Uh, but life is but fleeting. Um, does anybody know anything about that Tempest Trial? Why, why haven't I heard anything about that? Anyways... Also, for this summoning focus, it's very easy. Go for red. There's two red heroes that are five star locked versus Sword, who's three and four stars. Those those two hot girls on this banner uh, gotta go with the one that's red. Alencia, really really good. And if you get Ike, at the very least, if you don't want to use Ike, that's Ether fodder. But Ike's really good in my opinion. Anyways, um, special heroes login bonus on the 17th. Special Hero Summoning Event on the 17th. Special Hero Summoning Event, that would be for Christmas. And another Special Hero Summoning Event on the 31st, that would be for New Year's. So this this month, guys, you're going to be strained for orbs. Last year's New Year's and you know Christmas banner and everything was really, really impressive. Uh, last year's Christmas Heroes introduced ourselves to the first wave of armor bullshit. Uh, you know what I mean. Vengeful Fighter, Brave, uh, Bold Fighter, yeah... That was the start of it all. So yeah, we have big ex expectations this year. I hope this year, now that we got, in, you know, you, you know Winter Tharja. You know how she looks. Now imagine it was... Now imagine if it was Lin instead. Don't dislike the video. I like Lin. Alright, anyways. I I, 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 I... I would like that. Uh, but yeah, New Year's and Christmas... Starts the 17th for Christmas and 31st for New Year's. Alright, that's nice. New Year's is a, is a month, though. They're both a month. But yeah, budget your orbs, guys. There's a lot to spend it on. It's a good thing there's a lot of login bonuses. Tempest Trials login, Special Heroes login, and right now we already have a 
bonus. Grand Hero Battle Revival Linus. Linus good for Brazen Attack Speed. Um, he's also a great hero. I actually built up Linus, 5 star Linus. Uh, his A skill could be anything, but you know, he comes to Brazen Attack, so keep it. And his uh, special weapon refine is the same as Basiliskos, is the same as Raven, so it's just life and death. Three Princesses quests. Um, could be any three princess. It would be really easy to do, though. The three hero quests right now is really nice, too. Um, but yeah, for these quests, a huge tip, just borrow people's heroes. You don't actually have to use your own heroes. I mean, you could, It's, but if you have friends. And if you don't have friends, uh, come join our Discord, where we have a friend code section. So yeah, just use other people's heroes. Don't bother making your own. Uh, use other heroes, other people's heroes through... Um, you could... The easiest way is rival domains, but you could use them in anything that you can use other people's heroes in, like Voting Gauntlet. But I don't think Voting Gauntlet lines up. Uh, summoning focus, heroes with fortress skills, fortress skills. So Klein's coming back. Sorry, sorry, not Klein. <laughs> Cliff's coming back, um, for sure. Fortress skills. I see Inigo coming for Fortress Res. Uh, Gunthrow's not going to be here because she's legendary. Um, fortress defense is on what? Lucas? So maybe those three. Is my guess. Uh, Lucas, Cliff, and Klein. Sorry, I gotta stop saying Klein. Something's wrong with me. Anyways, you know what I mean. Uh, Grand Conquests. Oh, it went into the green. Grand Conquest on the 26th. And then Special Hero Summoning Event, which is the New Year's one. Under Hero Battle on the 27th. Voting Gauntlet on the 30th. Uh, I don't know what that's about, but uh, I'm just regurgitating content. It's the same same old. Uh, anyways, on 26th is Bound Hero Bow Revival. 26th. You think they would have something special for Christmas, like the day after Christmas. Uh, 29th is Tempest Trials Login Bonus. So there's a lot of Tempest Trials Login Bonus. Um, let's keep going. Ledger Hero Summoning Event on the 27th. So yeah, this month, three huge summoning events. Two Special Hero Summoning Events and a Ledger Hero Summoning Event. Bound Hero Bow, Klein and Clarine. New Year Celebration on the 31st to 14th. We're likely going to get a lot of free stuff for that. Tempest Trials and Lines of Princesses. So there's two Tempest Trials in quick succession. Uh, Tempest Trials life is but fleeting from 17th to 27th. You got four days off after that. Then the 31st to 10th. Wow, that's that's a lot. Uh, get your stamina potions ready. Get your uh, mentality ready for grinding. Unless you don't care about top 10k. At least get to 50k, get all the stuff. So many focus, heroes with tactic skills. So that could be anyone. Because there's so many tactic skills available right now. Um, yeah, it could be just about any. There's a lot of heroes with tactic skills at this point. Uh, I wonder who they'll pick out. Anyways, going on. Somebody focus bound hero battle on the on January third. Special orb promotion January edition. I mean, if you really want to buy orbs, just do during promotion time, I guess. Just for a few more extra feathers, I guess. New hero summoning event. New hero summoning event. Wonder what that's gonna be. And light blessing quests. So we're gonna get more light blessings. That's gonna really help with um ether raids, which IS has kinda of, like butchered and made it more pay to win because error copies really help your points. Uh about here, Klein, Klein and Clarine. Um am I missing anything? New Hero's login bonus on the first to tenth. And yeah, forging mods. That's everything. There's a lot of grinding this month. You guys are right. Uh, Tempest Trials are going to be the biggest grinders. Did I miss anything special? Seth. Seth is an option. You're right for Fortress. What VG? It just says Voting Gauntlet. I wonder what it would be. But yeah, there's two Tempest Trials very quickly after, one after other. Uh, I'll go for top 5,000. If I went for top 1k on both the Tempest Trials, I think I would burn myself out. That's too, too, too many. And I'm hardly balancing four gacha games, so... Uh, that, that'd be hard hard for me. New Year's is going to be interesting. I wonder if we're going to get a free hero. Uh, last year, New Year's was super interesting. Maybe the voting gauntlet is going to be... It's on the 30th. So if it's on the 30th, it's... Maybe it's... Oh, I think that voting gauntlet is going to be Christmas. Last year's Christmas versus this year's Christmas. Um, well, yeah, last year's voting gauntlet was New Year's on New Year's. And it was like New Year's... There was a random Ryoma there, all right? And they gave away uh, New Year to um, not Takumi, Corin New Year Corin, but it was really weird how they executed it. He should have been the voting gauntlet. That was the weirdest thing of last year. 
It was New Year's plus Ryoma, minus New Year Corrin, so yeah. Also, Forging Bonds confirmed Radiant Dawn as well. Okay, that's really interesting. Radiant Dawn, Forging Bonds. So, basically, that indicates that Lagu heroes will be for that Forging Bonds. So, the new Hero Summoning event on the 10th to 29th should be the Lagu heroes. That is incoming. Look out for that. Now, the Lagu heroes are really interesting because they haven't given us much detail on it. In the trailer itself, they got, like, what, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds max? Um, they kind of just threw it out there. But they have a lot of explaining to do. They are definitely not the same as dragons, guys. There's... There's a transformation condition. It's not just attacking that you transform. I'm pretty sure they can be attacked without being trans without transforming. And when they transform, they got an extra movement, um, at least for Tibarn. So that's something to look out for. I guess we'll get more details as time passes. Uh, let's see. They even said the next forging bonds is going to be about Lagu. Did they really? Because I've looked over that trailer a bunch of times. Anyways, well, that's pretty obvious now. Did I miss anything? I haven't been following as tightly because we've been so busy. No, no, we, we've done all that. Uh, beast type heroes from the Fire Emblem Radiant who can transform during it will arrive in January, so we hope you're excited. So yeah, that's confirmed for Lagoo. They keep showing only off two of the heroes. Hmm. Alright, but I think that's everything then. Another Fae channel on next month. Alright, that makes sense. They should be doing two Fae channels. Um, last year's Book 2 Fae channel was in November. This year it was in December. So, they do have to make up for something. Alright, but that, I think that's everything, guys. Uh, it's a packed month. I'm glad they're trying for winter, because winter is one of the biggest months. I think winter and summer are historically the biggest months for mobile games, so... And for FEH as well. So if this is where they want to make most of their money, get as much activity as going, it's, it would be here. It's also Golden Week because the game's Japanese, but whatever. Uh, those are the three seasons that are biggest. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know.